I enjoy being an artist on the studio tour uh, for a number of reasons. The first is you get to meet a lot of people from all over. People come from out of state, uh, all over California. Um, uh, they are really interested in how you produce the art. And so you find yourself talking about it. You know, doing this stuff, you spend a lot of time alone. And especially, like, I'm, like, doing little dots that um, uh, you're just for hours and hours all alone. And suddenly there's this group of people who are really interested in how you do it, what you do. And it's, it's really fascinating. Also, people end up telling me about themselves. And they inspire me if they have art in them or even if they've never done art, the questions they ask inspire me. And I find myself going into the next two years before the next studio tour, everything I make, I start thinking about, so what are, what are they going to see? What are they going to ask me next time? So it it's like feeds into my art. I have a friend, her name is Marn Reich. And I've known her for years and years and years. And when I first moved to Three Rivers, she invited me to come with her to a workshop in Visalia, owned by Shirley Tucker, and to play with clay. And I liked Marn. I wanted to spend a lot of time with her. So I said, oh, well, I'll just go try it. No interest in ceramics at all, but I'll just go try it. I'll do it three times and... Uh, that's it. That was seven or eight years ago, and I've been doing clay ever since. I am very fascinated with masks. Faces, faces, I love faces. All people's faces. And so I found myself, as I play with the clay, ending up making masks. And um, I was first inspired uh, by children from Niger River in Africa who uh, paint their bodies and their faces and I saw a bunch of pictures of them and my, I found my next time I went to make clay the mass started I started imitating these children uh, in di various and sundry ways and so I have this mask and this one from those kids uh, that are inspired by that I started this dot painting after being inspired by some artists in Oaxaca, Mexico who paint dart. This is a kind of a sample, a simple sample of one that was given to me not recent, recently. And um, so I start with painting dots on the recycled item, whatever it is. It could be a hubcap, it could be switch plates like I have in front of me, it could be garden tools, construction tools, uh, whatever I find or somebody gives to me. Uh, and then here's some of the end product where I'm headed. I start with turquoise, the some, some shade of turquoise. Um, because I just love the color. We moved here in 2002. This space was a wood uh, shop. Uh, it had all kinds of saws and everything. The walls were just framed out with tar paper. Uh, this is my home away from home. I come out here and there's nothing in the world except this room. <laughs> And whatever I am do, working on, uh, figuring out how to hang the masks or uh, finishing off a clay monoprint or making cards out of my photography or painting dots on recycled stuff. I don't know how many children will be uh, coming to the tour, but one of my favorite things is to have kids in the workshop because if they feel free enough to ask questions. It inspires the artist in them to come and meet an artist, to see their work, to, to ask questions. And so I'm hoping people will bring their kids to the tour.